directly reflecting surface if a photon hits the surface it will be reflected with the same magnitude of momentum if momentum towards the surface let us say minus p momentum away is plus p because it is a perfectly perfectly reflecting surface if the incident momentum's magnitude is p then returning momentum magnitude is also p then what about the total change in momentum of the photon it is whatever is the total change in momentum of the photon or whatever is the force on the photon the same force is exerted on the wall because force is action and reaction are equal and opposite so p final which is p minus of p initial is minus p so the total change in momentum is 2p but what is momentum we know that uh, i mean velocity of light is nu lambda that is number 1 and uh, and energy equal to h nu so next thing so nu can be written as c by lambda so this can be written as h into c by lambda possible also this one according to de broglie thing p equal to h by lambda but lambda is equal to c by nu so i am writing h by c by nu this is h nu divided by c so energy is h nu and momentum is h nu by c so this is equal to e by c so two times the momentum means it is 2e by c when it is a perfectly reflecting surface total momentum transferred is 2e by c suppose if we say so photon enters it's a perfectly absorbing surface perfectly absorbing then the total momentum change will be initial momentum p final momentum no photon emitted final momentum zero so it is simply p minus zero it is p p equal to e by c so momentum transferred in this case is ac but what we are trying to find out is radiation pressure the pressure on the wall or the surface so the pressure is equal to force by area but we know that force is change in momentum by time taken that's what we need to do delta p by delta t whatever so here i'm just using t because for a, for convenience so this is 2e by c how do we define intensity of light intensity of light is energy incident per unit area per unit time that is called intensity of light intensity of light suppose suppose there are n photons are falling on the surface n photon in a time t seconds then total energy of the photon will be n times energy of each photon divided by area a by time taken t that is equal to intensity so what is this n by t stand for number of photons by time gives you number of photons per unit time so n by t equal to number of photons per unit time that is equal to i a divided by h nu this is an important formula to find the number of photons given that intensity of the light is given and the surface area through which it is emitted so number of photons emitted per unit time is intensity area divided by h nu energy of each photon this we know then what is force total uh, momentum per unit time this is the momentum exerted by one photon if there are n photons the total momentum will be n times 2e by c divided by time taken t so this n by t can be written as ia by h nu h nu is the energy of each photon so the force acting is ia divided by h nu that is ia by energy of each photon ia by h nu into 2 times this e is actually momentum that is equal to what h nu so energy that is h nu divided by c cancelling these two the force exerted will be equal to 2 ia by c this is a force exerted by the radiation on a wall or a on a perfectly reflecting surface
फोर्स पर यूनिट एरिया इज प्रेशर फोर्स बाई एरिया इक्वल टू टू आई बाई सी सो दिस इज कॉल्ड रेडिएशन प्रेशर प्रेशर रेडिएशन रेडिएशन प्रेशर इज टू आई बाई सी रेडिएशन प्रेशर प्रेशर ऑन अ परफेक्टली रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस दिस इज दी फोर्स एक्सर्टेड बाय द रेडिएशन ऑन अ रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फे बाय द रेडिएशन ऑन अ परफेक्टली रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस as we discussed if it is a perfectly absorbing surface when the radiation falls it completely absorbs in that case radiation pressure is simply i by c the force exerted is simply ia by c suppose a photon is incident on a surface at an angle theta then you are supposed to take only the vertical component if this one pressure actually whatever it is so this force will be equal to ia by c ia by c so this force is f cos theta this reflecting plus f cos theta so the total value is 2f cos theta so the pressure exerted on the wall f will be equal to net pressure equal to 2 times f what is that ia by c into cos theta then what is the radiation pressure in such case is 2i by c into cos theta in a when this is normally incidenting on the surface theta equal to 0 degree if you substitute theta equal to 0 degree 2ia by c this result will come here if you put 2i by c this result will come so this is at an angle theta if this angle is given if this angle if they had given instead of cos theta you just substitute sin theta so remember number of photons emitted per unit time is intensity of the radiation area divided by h nu and force exerted is ia by c on a reflecting surface means 2 ia by c absorbing surface ia by c and radiation pressure is 2 i by c